Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Instead of always having to type a cell range into formulas, you can use range names, but only if you first name a particular range of cells. This can be helpful if you have a worksheet that contains data of the same type in the same place. For instance, if the cell range of F2 through F10 always contained the totals of the regional sales for your company, you could select that range and then name it Regional Sales. Then you can move quickly to that named range, or you can use it as a substitute for cell range references in ranged formulas. To name a range, first select the cell range that you want to name. Then click into the name box in the formula bar. Type the name for the range and then press the enter key on your keyboard to set the range name. Remember that there are no spaces allowed in range names, so use the underscore character instead if needed. Also range names must be unique within their defined scope, which is typically the whole workbook by default. Once you've created the named range, then any time in the future when you select that specific cell range, the range name will appear in the name box within the formula bar. Alternately, you can create a named range by first selecting the cell range that you want to name and then clicking the Define Name button that appears in the Defined Names button group on the Formulas tab in the ribbon. Doing this will open the New Name dialog box where you can define the named range that you selected. You enter the range name into the Name text box. A neat feature of this method is that you can then use the scope drop-down to select where you want the definition of the named range to function. When you use the name box to create a named range, it defines it with a default workbook scope. You can limit this scope by selecting a single worksheet from this drop-down if desired. You can then enter a comment if desired into the comment text box. Next, assuming that you selected your cell range first, you should see the cell reference shown in the Refers To text box. You can, however, change this reference if needed. Once you have the correct information entered, click the OK button to create the named range. It is also extremely important to note that when you create named ranges, you are making a specific reference to particular cells on a particular sheet. The reference that is created when you make a named range is an absolute reference, meaning that you cannot copy and paste a formula that contains a range name and expect it to adjust to its new location. Instead, the formula will always refer back to its original cells, the ones defined by the range name, no matter where you copy or paste the formula in the workbook. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www dot teachucomp.com forward slash free.